Okay, we're back here live at HP Discover. This is Silicon Angles Cube. Uh, I'm here with John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angles, Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. And we have a very special guest here in this Cube segment, at least from my standpoint, Chris Seelan, the Vice President of Marketing at Vertica. Uh, Chris was one of the early participants at Silicon Angle back when we started, when we Absolutely. were just a group blog and uh, mm -hmm. a great guy, great uh, uh, domain expert now running marketing at Vertica. Congratulations, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, it's great to be here. I I've, like you too, John. I've been looking so. forward to this interview <laughs> all with Jeff Kessler. Like, no, I'm doing this interview. No, you got, you're in an exciting role because Vertica mm -hmm. kind of came in early Obviously, a big data solution was a startup was was acquired by HP. Kind of a, you know, not a big number. Mm -hmm. you know, it was a healthy acquisition, good exit, good outcome for all the investors, but certainly not on the scale of autonomy. But yet, you know, yesterday Meg Whitman really front and center, clear publicly. Vertica is a big brand. They are they are mm -hmm. front and center. Vertica autonomy is kind of the messaging. Um, you're in a good spot, and you guys have a lot of cool things. They have yep. well received yesterday. So, quick, give us the update around what's the excitement level within Vertica. Well, Vertica's doing really well. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of success in the market, a lot of growth. We've got a lot of our customers here at Discover. Um, we're doing our first user conference in two months. We've, you know, we've just got a lot of great things going on. So, you know, the market is crazy, it's chaotic, it's competitive, but we're winning more than our fair share of business. We're growing the business and we're having a lot of fun doing it. So, so I got to ask you, I got to ask you as, a, as someone who's been in the industry, you've seen the movies before, you've mm -hmm. been an analyst, you've been in the trenches, you know the whole cycles and waves you've lived through, you know the enterprise 2.0, you know the collaboration yep. market. So you've you've kind of had your your hand in a lot of different, you know, markets. Yep. Uh, and big data is kind of the big data is the center of the universe for all those kind of converged uh, markets. What's your take on the landscape right now in the market? Yeah. Uh, what's the confusion? Where do people getting confused? And, and, and just, let's just straighten that out real quick. Well, I think that, you know, if you really look at market trends, and as you said, I used to do that for a living, um, and you still do, and you know, I still do it as a, I play one on TV from time to time. <laughs> What's an analyst, but, um, always an exactly, analyst. Exactly, exactly. Well, you but you know, you, <laughs> it's good to look at the big picture, right? When you step back and look at the big picture in our industry, you say every seven to 12 years or so, something happens that really kind of changes everything. And I do think big data is one of those things. So, um, you know, now having said that, I have a love-hate term with the, I have a love-hate relationship with the term big data because it gets people, the good news about it is that people get it, people have gravitated to it, people remember it, and now what's really starting to happen and what I'm really excited about is it's not just IT. Um, it's business, you know, it's CMOs, CFOs, of course the CIO has been interested for a while, um, COOs are now interested in big data. But the tough thing is that it's not just about big, you know, it really is about, you know, not just the volume, but you know, we, we can talk about the three Bs, we can talk about the three Bs all day, variety, velocity, but there's a lot more going on than just more data. Meet the four S's, someone data. said on Twitter yesterday, mm -hmm. was, you know, scale, yeah. <laughs> you know. All, secure, secure, speed, right, exactly. So, I mean, so, you know, we always talk, we were, Dave and I had a kind of the epiphany moment, like three years ago at Sapphire, SAP Sapphire, mm -hmm. when you saw the their mobility play with, they bought Sybase, and the iPad crystallized to us when we saw big data hitting the boardroom, mm -hmm. right? So that was a simply a business benefit. It has nothing to do with tech. It was, mm -hmm. hey, I can get real-time information. I want to instrument my business. Yep. That's kind of, that has nothing to do with tech. That's, that's exactly a style right. of, of doing business. Yep. Do you, do you agree with that? And what have you seen now that's, that's current that you can share with us that people are doing that's uh, really compelling? I completely agree with that. You know, I joined Vertica last August, so I've been on board a little less than a year. And I still remember one of the first leadership meetings I went to um, was right at around Labor Day, around the US Open. And I don't want to give airtime to our competitors, but I went into the room and there were some people laughing because they had been watching this um, commercial on TV by one of our competitors who will go unnamed that was talking about big data was about IBM. analyzing Federer's second serve percentage on the iPad. And everybody's like, ha, 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 that's not big data. I said, you know what, guys? That's a great commercial because what's happening is that's getting the attention of the CEO who's sitting in the stands at the US Open because that's what's going on right now yeah. is these non-technical types are saying, wait, I need a big data strategy. And that has very little to nothing to do with big data, but at the same time, it's an acknowledgement that the attention level has gone beyond IT. Yeah, you know, so we, we It doesn't devalue IT, well, but it's gone well, beyond and IT. IT. And IT has so, always been the buzzword, single pane of glass, you mm -hmm. know, a, a, a touchstone, if you will, to manage the business. But in, in with dashboards and analytics now, you can have a multiple dashboards or single pane of glass concept right. where you can pull up dashboards on any specific point in a business. Yep. Supply chain, hiring, customer interactions, 
anything. Right. So, so it's 100% measurable. Make it visual. Picture tells a thousand words. But also adapt those dashboards, the speed. That's really, that's been one of the great things for us because we offer such high performance that now it's not like, well, wait, I want to change the dashboard. Well, I have to go talk to an analyst in the IT organization and change the report. So when they run the, when they run the batch next Saturday, process the report Sunday and hand it to me Monday, it's different next week. It's like, no, I want it right now. So I'm looking at the data that way, I want to look at it this way, and I don't want to wait five hours or five days, or not even five minutes, I want it in five seconds. So, yeah, so, so much of this yeah, big data, really changed. so much yeah. of this discussion you know, touches you know, consumers and CEOs and CMOs and so forth, but, but at the back end, it's a complicated situation for a lot of people, especially Absolutely. when you start talking to Duke. Yeah. Uh, and with John, we know firsthand, right? I mean, it's, you know, trying to make this stuff work is, is, is very complicated. Mm -hmm. And so now you come out with, with Haven. So somebody's going to win in this game. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you guys, maybe somebody else, but no, there's got to be, okay, great, good. So we'll talk about why. But so there's got to be a platform, there's going to be a platform that simplifies application development around mm -hmm. these big data apps. Right. And that's really what Haven is all about, right? That's so talk exactly about that a little about. bit more. That's exactly what it's about. It's about taking the combined capabilities of the different products that we have in our portfolio, very unique, very powerful products, certainly Vertic is one of them that I know the best, Autonomy Idle, ArcSight Logger, Core, taking the different connectors associated with those products, taking Hadoop. Course. Very powerful open source technology. You know, our strategy for Dupe is open partnership. So we support all. We're not trying to push our flavor. We're basically supporting our partnerships and supporting the Hadoop ecosystem. And taking the capabilities of all of these technologies and all these analytic and data processing engines and combining them and saying, what kinds of solutions can you build to help solve these business and financial problems and answer these questions that the line of business wants to know? What does this mean to me? And show those visual interactive dashboards, you know, running in near real time. To be able to sort of say, I want to look at, you know, I want to look at customer loyalty. I want to look at churn. I want to make sure I'm, you know, not, you know, doing anything bad. Like there's no fraud. You know, I want to be able to solve business problems. So, so help us understand yeah. that a little bit in terms of Haven, Haven solution or Haven as platform. Haven's and, platform. And okay, yeah. so this, this, this so, mm -hmm. that implies plenty of flexibility. So yes. let's, let's break yeah. it down. So, so Hadoop. I could use Apache, I could use uh, uh, Cloudera, I could yep. use whoever, exactly. Hadoop I want, Wan Disco mm -hmm. if I want, okay yep. fine, pop it in, Intel's distribution, that's not a, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, how about the, the other pieces? Are they sort of menu pieces that you can you can pick and choose? Do they come as a semi-package solution? How's that all work? Well, the integration happens in the context of the solutions. And as you may know, we announced a few Haven-based solutions yep. that HP has built. Um, we've also talked about a few that our partners have built. I mean, ultimately, you know, some of the audience was we serve like IT management. We announced something called Operations Analytics, and there's also a management console and dashboard, and there are a number of different uh, in our Service Anywhere product. So, you know, so for, so for sort of the IT audience, the IT management audience, who's HP's core audience, we've built Haven-based solutions, which we were demonstrating for that marketplace. For uh, like, you know, dentist offices or something, or, uh, you know, uh, these various vertical industries and these other industries where, you know, we may very well have some services and some products to offer them, but in many cases, it's a huge opportunity for our partners, our system integration partners, our channel partners, to build solutions based on Haven, which is why we say Haven is a platform, and it's a platform that also brings in, you know, HP services and also HP converged infrastructure as well, cloud infrastructure, converged infrastructures as supporting it, and it's a platform you can build on, and you build solutions that are big data enabled, analytic enabled solutions for these different vertical industries, different horizontal business needs. We'll, you know, the markets we serve, we'll build some of our own, but we're just priming the pump. And, and the entries and exits into Haven is some, is an open API? Talk about that a little bit. Well, there's multiple APIs, there's multiple products. Right. And, you know, again, how, I, I think I started answering your question, I probably didn't finish. How they get integrated and configured is going to really depend on the solution. Yeah, yeah, sure, so, okay. You yeah. know, think of it as a loose coupling. Right. Okay. So, you know, when, we, when you talk to technical audiences, they always want to know, well, how's the integration? Well, well, it depends. I mean, if it's a fraud solution, it's probably going to look really different than a customer analytics solution yeah. than a solution yeah, uh, for dentist offices yeah, or right. something like that, right? So, you know, I'm just kind of making that up. But we probably have partners out there somewhere who serve the dental market. So, you know, we don't, I don't know, maybe somebody at HP knows about the dental market. I certainly don't, but, you know, that's just a kind of example. You know, we're very, very reliant on our partners, and we think this is going to be a great opportunity for our partners, and our partners are already starting to embrace this, which is the most exciting thing for us. Chris, as you guys evolve, obviously, you know, the mission's growing. We mm -hmm. heard from Donatelli that 3PAR was doing 100 million in revenue, and now they're on a run rate of over a billion dollars. Obviously, the success of having HP um, as your mothership takes Vertica from a mm -hmm. startup and turbocharges your opportunity. Yep. 
Havens, I'm gonna start there. What are your challenges uh, within your group that you're looking at in the market? Is it education, is it sales force, is it customer value proposition? What's on your to-do list? What are your challenges and your opportunities that you're going after? Um, you know, I think the biggest one is education because there's so much, everybody's, you know, when I talked about it, the every seven to 12 year trend, and I, I keep feeling like I'm giving IBM airtime, right? It was like e-business 12 years ago. Everybody called everything e-business and eventually it became so diluted, and now everybody's calling everything big data. So, e -business so what web. really <laughs> is it? And as I said, you know, it's these, it's not just the CIO who wants to know anymore, it's now, you know, the business people, the financial people who really want to know kind of what's it going to do for me. You know, we're talking all the time in Vertica about how it's not like we don't want to keep talking about what Vertica can do, but more and more of our customers want to hear what can I do with yeah, Vertica. Yeah, big data is not a product. What kinds of solutions. It's right, it's a, it's a, it is what it is. It's like yeah. uh, Hadoop, we saw that early when Hadoop came out, right? We saw it trending, Hadoop was a big buzzword, then it became analytics. Right. Now it's just, it is work. Yep. Right? So, well, if you, yeah. say, if you say Hadoop to a CMO, they say, God bless you, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, but it's not it's not relevant to them, all kidding aside, it's relevant to the CIO. But big data but is, it's is a solution that's relevant to a CMO or CFO. So, so. Cl clarify this, because I, I think what I, Dave and I always talk about with Vertica is unique, is because you guys look at things differently. So if you look at like Apache Hadoop from a Cloudera or Hortonworks mm -hmm. standpoint, to you guys, you guys think differently because you have different architectures, different performance criteria, different environments you're selling into. The distros are kind of table stakes now. Do you agree with that? And what's going yeah. on with the distros? Because you guys have complex multiple multiple parallel processing engines mm -hmm. and columnar stores and then it's just a whole different mindset. It is. But that's not necessarily bad or good. It's, mm -hmm. it's about the solutions. Yeah. Clarify this whole, I got this, someone's got that, does it matter? And, and and well, whatnot. there's been a lot of excitement about Hadoop, and Hadoop is very powerful technology, but it there was also, I think, for a while, a bit of a, and I think that's starting to change now, if you believe like the Gartner hype cycles, they've been talking about this a great deal, that now people are starting to realize Hadoop doesn't solve all problems, it solves a certain set of problems very nicely. It's a great way to store and catalog very large volumes of data, but like, you know, we certainly believe it's very much complementary technology that, yes, there are companies working on things like SQL and Hadoop and such, but, you know, right now, and, and I think there's market disruption happening there. There's no doubt about it. Well, it's open it. source. People can start new projects. You can, but also if you really look at performance, you know, it really doesn't, there's, it's not comparable at this point in time. So so there's an evolution going on and there's a need for a portfolio approach. I mean, that's why, that's why Hadoop is very much part of Haven, but it's not, you know, it, it's a component. It's that's why Vertica bullet. is not a the part of Haven, bullet. right? Because what you really need is a portfolio approach that provides you the ability to take these tools and use them for what they're good for and combine their capabilities and create a bigger whole and solve problems, so, and make money. Okay, so you, you're- You like making money. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So you you would expect that a lot of the use cases are going to be Hadoop related, but it's not a prerequisite necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. We have a ton of customers using Vertic and Hadoop together. So and it works great. Well, so it's great we, for batch. I mean, and, and mm -hmm. Impala's trying to do that with Cloudera and yep. trying to make it more real time. But again, it's like your view of the elephant in the room is different where you're standing, right? I mean, pun intended. Mm -hmm. um, Hadoop is a good thing. There's a lot of active developer Absolutely. communities, so it's not like it's dying, right? It's like oh. it's just no. it may not be that that one thing, it's just an element, it's a platform. It's an element, It's exactly. It solves a certain set of problems, does it very well, and from where we sit, what it does is highly complimentary, so. Well, we love, well, we love the big data confusion because it's just good for us, our mm -hmm. business, because we get to clarify what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it is about solutions and it's evolving, so it's right. exciting to see right. new solutions, new capabilities, and the good news is some good stuff's happening, so. Well, also, too, the collaboration between Vertica and Autonomy. I mean, two mm -hmm. years ago we were here at HP Discover. I think it was two years ago, and Vertica didn't get a peep. Now you get, you know, <laughs> top mention. It was almost as though, you know, Vertica wanted to be this sort of separate entity. Mm -hmm. Didn't really want to play, play, but it's crazy. I mean, the three-par example is great, right? I mean, you're talking yeah. 200 million now, a billion-dollar run rate. Mm -hmm. um, and know, Colin has done some good work. Shout out to Colin Mahoney. Obviously, yes. you know, he's, he's, you know got everything stable, it's growing, expanding. Yep. And again, HP is an opportunity, right? Yep. I mean, you know, it's that, that is a huge resource, huge customer base, so, yep. and, and you got other things you can go after internally. There's a huge amount of potential here. And you know, we are going to win, and there doesn't have to be just one winner, but we yeah. have every intent of being yeah. it. There's, there's so much growth and opportunity here, but you know, so our goal is just keep growing and going and get more than our so fair the, share. The so. final question, because we've got a break, is yeah, yeah. who are you going to be buying? 
Uh, I can't. Uh, the M&A's. Could you share with us the acquisition roadmap? Can I share that? No, I absolutely can't share <laughs> it that. Sounds yeah, exactly. It'll be like, that'll be the end of that. No, I, I you know, can't, can't comment on that. We will so. continue to speculate. You can keep asking, but I'll just, you know, and I know you will, so. Yeah. Well, Meg's paying down that debt, so uh, it's just a matter of time. She told mm -hmm. me at the uh, analyst meeting, I'm not going to do a lot of acquisitions until we pay down the debt. Yeah, they yeah. got to do uh, But they, once I do, we'll look out. I'll tell you what, le <laughs> leadership, leadership means everything. And, um, you know, I was, I was at a dinner last night, just people were talking about how, how inspired they are by what she's been able to do and what, and you know, and she, I sure would be the first one to say it's not just me, it's the whole organization, but it's all about leadership and yeah, I yeah. think we've got great leadership. Very so, yeah. HP's got a spring in there, Steph. Chris Zeeland of EP Marketing at Vertica, again, a key part of the big data strategy is Vertica, obviously autonomy, Haven's the big announcement, this is theCUBE, this is Silicon Angles, day two coverage of three days at HP Discovery in Las Vegas. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back after this short break.